What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Kangaroo Black, coming back once again with another game preview and score prediction. The Oklahoma Sooners versus the Texas Longhorns in the Red River rivalry, Dallas, Texas. Not going to take too much of your time, so let's go ahead and get into the video talking about these Oklahoma Sooners coming into this game 4-1. and one. Only losses to the Tennessee Volunteers. And when it comes to the Oklahoma offense, it is not very good. It is stagnant. Quarterback Jackson Arnold, not very good to me. I didn't have any high expectations of this guy coming into the season. I shouldn't. I'm not an Oklahoma fan, but I never thought Jackson Arnold was good. He definitely is not a Dylan Gabriel. I'm going to tell you that right now. But anyway, but anyway, uh, this offense, like I say, not good. This offense is only averaging 297 yards per game, 169 yards through the air, 128 yards on the ground. Now, the running game is decent. Average, 128 yards per game is not good on the ground, but 169 yards through the air is atrocious. That's crazy. That's, that's <laughs> lackluster, to say the least. Okay, defensive. The defense is giving up more yards than the offense is gaining. Uh, the defense is giving up 324 yards per game, while the offense, like I said, is only averaging 297. That's not a recipe for success. Even though they 4-1, they got, they got wins against mediocre opponents. All right? They got wins over who? Uh, Temple, bad team. Houston, bad team. Auburn, bad team. Uh, they got a win over Tulane, who's four and two. They decent, but uh, no, <laughs> no. This 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 offense is. I'm gonna just put it bluntly. This offense for Oklahoma is terrible. All right, defense. It's all right. It's all right, even though they giving up more yards than the offense is gaining. 324 yards per game. 218 through the air and 105 on the ground. That is not terrible. That is not terrible. It's just that the offense really can't put points on the board. That's all it is, especially especially against good opponents or decent opponents. Um, this offense, I mean, uh, they, they did put up 51 against Temple. They put 16 up against Houston. Uh, 15 against Tennessee, 27 against uh, Auburn, which Auburn is not good, so that's why I say that. And then they put up 34 against Tulane, which Tulane, you know, they're a decent team for their conference, but they shouldn't even be on the same field as Oklahoma. That's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. All right, so, hey, it is what it is. This Oklahoma team is not a good team to me, man. It's not a good team. Their running game is decent with Javante Barnes and uh, Michael Hawkins Jr. But then you got Jackson Arnold who chipping in with the running too. He got 138 yards on the ground with two touchdowns. But then Jackson Arnold, <laughs> again, he's got what? Mm, let me see what Jackson Arnold got through the air. He's got 538 yards passing total throughout. He done played in four games, okay? But he got 538 yards, seven touchdowns, three interceptions, okay? So if you four, oh, he passed for about a what? Mm, about a hundred and shit. Not much. We're going to say a hundred and about 130, 32 yards a game. That ain't good. Not at all. Backup quarterback Michael Hawkins Jr. He got a 310 yards with a touchdown. So hey, it is what it is. Jackson Arnold got a, he got three uh, interceptions on the season. So he need to watch that also, especially in this game against Texas. I'm gonna tell you that right now. But anyway, the wide receivers, man. Like I'm gonna say, they only got eight uh, receiving touchdowns. So they ain't getting much. They not getting much. They're 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 leading wide right receiver. Deion Burks only got 200 yards through through uh four games. So 50 yards a game, basically, with three touchdowns. 50 yards a game ain't going to win you too many games. Uh, Bear Sharp, 159 yards in a touchdown through five games. Baron Thomas, Thompson, five games, only 106 yards in a touchdown. Man, that's, that's, that's sad. That's sad. This passing game is atrocious. The offense is atrocious, if you ask me. Defense, like I say, giving up 324 yards, okay? That's not real bad. 
Okay, but uh, this offense ain't helping them out in the least bit. Not none. Not none. So, yeah, yeah, Oklahoma, y'all going to have tough sled in this game. I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know what else to tell you. That it is what it is. But let's talk about these old Texas Longhorns coming into this game 5 and 0, 0 and 1, I mean 1 and 0 in the conference, okay? Uh but anyway, Texas. Quinn Oars and Arch Manning doing their damn thing. I'm going to tell you right now. Quinn Oars, Arch Manning, it don't matter who play. I think they're going to they going to uh square they're going to get Oklahoma squared away. I can tell you that right now, man. Queen Oars and Arch Manning, both of them better than, than, than Oklahoma's quarterbacks. I'm going to tell you that right now. Both of them. Queen Oars went down. Arch Manning come in. Take over right where he left. Well, Queen Oars left off here. Arch Manning might even be doing a little better. I don't know, man. Arch Manning got 900 yards passing on the season through four games. Uh, nine touchdowns, two interceptions. Queen Ewers, 691 yards through the air. Eight touchdowns, two interceptions. But, so both of them getting it done. But Queen Ewers, I mean, uh, Arch Manning did play in one more game than Queen Ewers. When Queen Ewers got hurt, you know, Arch Manning came in doing his damn thing. A lot of people had questions about Arch Manning uh, before they seen all this. But he's proven that he can he can do what it, what it takes to win football games. But anyway... This offense is averaging 513 yards a game, and the defense is only giving up 228 yards a game. All right, offense is averaging 285 more yards than what the defense is giving up, and yes, that is a recipe for success. A lot of people saying, "Well, Tennessee ain't play." I mean, uh, Texas ain't played nobody. Texas ain't played nobody. All I know, they done beat a SEC opponent. They done beat the defending national champions, in Big Ten, and the Michigan Wolverines. So. It is what it is. I know Mississippi State is the worst team in the SEC. A lot of people think Vandy is, but Vandy has proven they not. Vandy is 3-2, and two, while Mississippi State is like 1-4. So, hey, who's the, who's the worst team? But anyway, uh, so, hey, it is what it is, man. Like, like they always say, you play who they put in front of you. Steve Sarkeesian didn't make the schedule. That's all I know. But people want to say, well, Texas ain't played nobody. But I tell you what, they finna play Oklahoma. And uh I think they gonna they gonna uh, manhandle Oklahoma. I'm gonna just put it like that. But anyway, offensively they good, defensively they good, it is what it is. Jaden Blue, well, we thought that Texas was gonna have issues with their running game coming into the season, being that uh, their, their, their number one back coming into the season went down went went down in the fall. But, hey, it is what it is. But Jaden Blue, 239 yards, rushing through four games and uh, four touchdowns. He's also got two touchdowns receiving. Jerry Gibson, uh, running back, 226 on the season, yards, three touchdowns. All right. Uh, then Trey, Trey Weisner, he's got a touchdown on the on the ground. So, hey, that's the only one he got. But then you got Arch Manning helping out. He got three touchdowns on the ground, man. And then these wide receivers, they got some hell of a wide receivers, man. They got Isaiah Bunn, who is their leading wide receiver. Transfer from my Alabama Crimson Tide, I might add. Isaiah Bunn threw five games, 364 yards and four touchdowns. Uh, Ryan Wingo, second leading receiver, 247 yards. Uh, and two touchdowns. Then uh, Matthew Golden, he's got three touchdowns on the ground with 223 yards. And uh, 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 Garner Ham, 220 yards and a touchdown. You got Jonte Cook with two touchdowns on 137 yards. DeAndre Moore, 127 yards with three receiving touchdowns. I mean, Jesus, man. Who else you got? Uh, Silas Bolden. He's got a touchdown receiving with 74. The point I'm trying to make is they are spreading the ball around to different wide receivers. I want to see my Alabama Crimson Tide do that from time to time. You know what I'm saying? But Steve Sarkeesian, he's getting this ball spread around to different wide receivers. So you don't know who the, who the play is called for in the receiving game. Keep that defense wondering, where's the ball going to go? You know what I'm saying? Can my Alabama Crimson Tide do that sometime? But, yeah, man, I like what I see in this Texas offense. Steve Sarkeesian is a hell of a play caller. I'm going to tell you that right now. 
And Oklahoma defense going to have their hands full this weekend. Some people might say, hey, this is a rivalry. This is the Red River rivalry. You can throw the records out the one. Well, not this year. Not this year. I just don't believe it. Uh, Texas, they got five interceptions on the season on the, on the defensive side of the ball. They got seven to takeaways total. Shit, I think Texas got a better defense also. I, I think Texas got a better defense. Five, eight. Damn, man. Uh, let me see. Two, six, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Mm. Twelve. That's twelve. About thirteen to fourteen sacks on the season. That's, that's pretty damn good, man. That's good. And a hell of a lot of a lot of tackles for loss. So defense is not bad. I mean, I like both defenses. I'm gonna tell you, I, I like both defenses. Uh but Texas is, is, is the more dominant team. I'm going to tell you that right now. I don't give a damn who they done played. I don't, matter of fact, if you look at it, if you look, really look at it, who, who have Oklahoma played really besides Tennessee? You might say Auburn, but it, Auburn ain't good either. They only got two wins. So who have Oklahoma played? But ain't nobody saying Oklahoma ain't played nobody. The only reason people are saying Texas ain't played nobody is because Texas is 5-0. Oh. That's the only reason. So if Texas was 2-3, two 3-2, and, three, three and two, you wouldn't be saying they ain't played nobody. The only, like I say, the only reason people saying Texas ain't played nobody is because they're 5-0. And, oh, and after this week, they will be 6-0 and oh because I'm picking Texas to beat the Oklahoma Sooners and beat them handily too. So, my score prediction for Texas and Oklahoma, Texas, Texas, uh, 34, Oklahoma, <laughs> 34, 13, Texas 34, Oklahoma 13, that's my final score, and I'm sticking with it, roll, damn, tie.